I'm Carrie. And I'm Stephanie. And this is the Love and Nonsense Podcast. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie again, and I'm here to talk about Christmas by Starlight, starring Kimberly Sestad and Paul Campbell. When her family's beloved eatery, the Starlight Cafe, is slated for demolition, Annie vows to put a stop to it before Christmas. This movie was the one I was looking to the most. I saw that preview for it and I watched it multiple times because I'm like, this looks so funny. And it actually was funny. So it was awesome. A little trivia. Kimberly actually approached Paul with this idea a few years ago. I like to imagine she brought it up when they were filming A God Wink Christmas, the first one. But what do I know? That's just my, in my head, that is the story and I'm sticking to it. So he agreed, he liked the idea, and then they wrote it together. And now it's actually like made, which is pretty awesome. And they're really a great pairing for Hallmark. This is their third movie together. They did A Godwin Christmas. They did Wedding Every Weekend this summer. And now they have a second Christmas movie. So I just think this is a really, they play off each other very well. Like their humor is kind of the same. And Paul's a little chaotic, but then Kimberly grounds him. So it really works. Some of the quotes I really loved from this movie was when Kimberly suggests that they do a fundraiser, but she has no idea how to do a fundraiser. And so Paul turns around on her and he's like, well, maybe you shouldn't be running around handing them out like party favors. And I laughed so hard. And I actually have my sister with me who doesn't care for Hallmark movies, but she laughed as well. So I count that as a win. She actually laughed a couple of times at Paul's little quips. So I count that as two thumbs up. And then also there was a scene where Paul had to choose one photo of himself out of two. And to describe them, he's like, should I be rugged and charming or career focused, but emotionally available? And if I had been drinking something, I probably would have done a spit take because it was so unexpected, but so funny. So that really was the best part of the movie was just all of Paul's quips. Like Kimberly was funny. But she was mostly reacting to Paul's humor. Like he had all the best lines. Some of the cons to this movie or things that I was just, I didn't care for totally was this was another adoption story, had adoption part of it, which is all well and good, but I don't know. I feel like not everybody needs a sad adoption story. So there's that. And then also the humor kind of fell off towards the middle When we started moving into like the serious romance, right? Which I know you can't be funny 100% of the movie and there were still funny parts, but I do feel like it kind of sagged in the middle. Some of the best parts though, or ones that I liked, were there was your typical going to get a Christmas tree scene and you have to test the branch, you know, and slide your hand along the branch. And if needles come off, then I think that means that the tree's not good. (laughs) I feel like I should know the answer to that after all these movies, but I still don't know how to choose a good real Christmas tree. But Paul tried the whole branch thing and he pulled the tree down on top of himself and fell over, which was so funny and so different from the usual because, you know, normally it's like a romantic, oh, we're pulling on these branches at the same time. But instead, he kind of ruined it by pulling the whole tree down on himself. And then I appreciated Kimberly having a dog and buying her dog clothes. That was so funny. I just love her when she has pets because one of my favorite movies is Nine Lives of Christmas where she's in it with a cat or there's actually two cats and it's just so cute. So I, I loved that she had a dog and she bought him clothes. So overall, I gave the storyline a four because we have seen kind of the save the mom and pop shop type deal storyline, but I did like that she gave him something in return for him helping her. And then a three for style, because I don't really remember much, except she did wear a pretty red dress. Three for setting. I didn't really actually care for the restaurant that they chose as the Starlight Cafe. And I gave it three candy canes, which maybe could be up to four. I just don't remember a lot of Christmas in this movie, even though it was all about a Christmas fundraiser, mostly because I was focused on the humor. But overall, I would definitely recommend this movie. It did live up to my humor standards for it. It was not a flop. Good job, Paul and Kim. So subscribe to the podcast so you can get notified when we have new episodes released. And if you're on Apple Podcast, we'd love it if you leave us a review. Apparently those are really super helpful in getting your podcast seen and our social media. Yes. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Love and Nonsense Podcast. Talk to you later. Bye.